Hi, this is Kathy from Merry Mint Design, and I want to show you the best way to sew mitered corners with binding tape. See how nice that corner is in the back? I am sewing 30 placemats for my son's classroom, and I used to dread uh, bias tape, and I've been experimenting a lot, and I found the best way to sew this stuff on, so I want to share it with you. Um, the first thing you want to do is you're going to have your rectangle or whatever you're putting bias tape on. Start your bias tape, open it up. I'm using the double bias tape, the double fold bias tape here. And you're going to start sewing about two inches down. Don't start up here. Start down here where the pin is, okay? So you just put the pin, the needle in. I usually take my pins out. And then I don't pin the bias tape, I just kind of hold it there other than the first piece. And you're going to sew down this ditch as fast as as slow as you want. One thing is make sure you don't pull the bias tape. So you don't want to pull it and stretch it or else it's not going to lay flat when you sew it. Trust me, I've screwed up on that. Um, so when you get to the corner, we're going to stop about a quarter of an inch to the corner. So see the corners here? I'm going to stop right about there. So we're going to sew to the end here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now you're going to lift up your presser foot and just swing. So you're going to sew basically from here to the corner. So you're going to be sewing an angle off the corner. And you don't have to backstitch or anything. So let me show that to you a little bit up close. Okay, see how it's kind of gone down here and then you went off into a corner. Now you're going to make those pretty mitered corners that you saw. Um, you're going to take your bias tape and fold it on that angle. So see that, that angle that you just sewed there is what you're going to fold it up on. And then you're going to like double fold it back. Okay, did you get that? Let me do it again. So you take it and you fold it up like this. And see, you've kind of made a triangle here. Then you hold your fingers and you kind of fold it back on top of itself. Okay? And now you just keep sewing. And sew from the corner. Okay. Back stitch a little bit and you just keep sewing. I'm going to switch to another placemat so you can see a little bit farther along. But this is kind of what the corner now is going to look like. But you can see that when you're going to fold this book back, look how nice that's going to look. See? Okay. Let's flip out to another placemat that's a little bit farther along. So with this one, this is the original, this is the first place where you started and it's got, you've got that loose little tail. This was the fourth corner over here. So what I did was I sewed about an inch here and I stopped. So now you're going to cut your bias tape and sew it together. Um, I mark a little line here about, I don't know, like a quarter inch, just something that I can sew. And then I lay this on top like that and make sure it's just nice and flat. And then you're going to mark right on top of your other line. And I just kind of eyeball it, to be honest with you. So do you see how it's kind of like laying on top of it, this line and that line? Now you can cut a little bit to the side of that. So you don't want to cut on the line, you want to cut a little bit after the line. Okay? And you're going to just set that to the side. You can use that in another placemat. So now you've got your two little tails, and you're just going to put them together, line up your lines like so. And you can pin it if you want, or you can just sew it. Sometimes I just sew it. And here, sometimes I backstitch, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I get into a little bit of trouble when I backstitch and it gets bunched. So if you are going to backstitch, just, you know, kind of be careful. I'm going to flatten this out below here. So I'm just going to sew on this line. Okay. And 
and trim it. And now, look, you can see how this is going to be flat. So when you flip it over, see how nice that's going to look on this side? You can just now, see this part's unsewn, so you can just sort of finger press the seam open here like that. And sew that little flap shut. Sometimes I backstitch over seams. I don't know. It's just a habit. Okay. And then you can trim up all your threads. And I trim, up, trim them all up. And look how nice that's going to be. Now what I like to do here is there's a little bit of bulk in the seam. So see this little, little flap here? And then this little flap here? I like to trim those up a little bit. So I take my scissors and just trim out that little bit and what that's going to do is it's going to be less bulky when you sew it. And then I usually cut a little bit out from here. Alright, so that's it. Now the next step, all you really need to do now is just fold this over and then fold it over to the back and secure. Now I've tried different things to secure this bias tape. I've tried pins, I've tried barrettes. I finally broke down about these clips and I tell you it's worth it because what they do is you can kind of line up. Let me do this at an angle so you can see. You can kind of line it up there with the bias tape and flip it over and see if it's equal. And what that's going to do is it's going to make sure you, that you actually catch your bias tape all along this back side. So again, I really like those clips. They're called Wonder Clips, and I finally broke down and got them, and they're really nice. Um, on the corners, I want to just show you this so you can see how nice this mitered corner looks on the front. To distribute the bulk, what I like to do is on this side, you can see how this side has more bulk. So I'm going to make this side flat, and then I'm going to fold up this side on the back. So when you look at the corner, this whole corner is evenly, there's even bulk on it. And then I can put another clip on this. So all you do is you just go around your whole bias tape, whatever you're doing, and clip it and see how nice that corner is going to look. Um, so when you're done, you just go and put this in. I like to sew the bias tape from this side rather than the, um, and I like to just try to catch this side under it because I think that looks nice. So you can just back stitch a little bit here. Now the one downside with these clips is you do have to take them out. You know, it's not like you can run over them with like pins or anything, but I just double check and make sure that it's flat still. And then I keep going like this. And that's it. I mean, you just keep doing, go all the way around, and in the end, you'll get bias tape with nice mitered corners like this. Um, and you can make 30 placemats. <laughs> Good luck. Show me what you make. Um, I'm at Facebook, uh, Mary Mint Design, or you can tag me on Instagram, Kathy Beamer, and I'll have those links underneath this video. Thanks and happy sewing.